Hello everyone, and today is a very happy Sunday morning. Moosey and I slept in a little bit later today. I think we got up, we had coffee in bed, and then got up because I promised him some blueberry pancakes with maple syrup from Maine. So in this video today, you are going to see uh, Nanny getting ready for the couple's baby shower that we went to on a rainy, rainy Saturday, a family affair, and it was wonderful. So I have some reel from that. I also received in the mail some of my bottom lashes and some glue and some stuff to fix my eyebrows. So we'll do a little bit of makeup. And uh, also, I think I found a solution with a suggestion from some of you ladies as to how to get access to all my tubs out in the ship. And I also made some beautiful blueberry pancakes for Moosey this morning. Today is Sunday morning. Dubby had given us this package of pancake mix from L.L. Bean. Uh, when she and Barry went on that trip in New England. Real deal, right from uh, Maine. Oh yeah, baby. Good. Thank you. Welcome, thank you, Debbie. They were delicious. So it's kind of nice on a cold, wintry day. Still raining, believe it or not, but it's supposed to stop. And I think we're supposed to have a couple of days of sunshine. What after that, I don't know. Going to a baby shower, a couple's baby shower, <clears throat> in about half an hour, Margie's arriving, and I want to see if I can pull this off. I've dressed up, it's cold, it's pouring rain again, and everybody's going to be there. A lot of the kids, this is one of Dubby's grandbabies, Dubby and Barry's grandbabies on the way. And everyone's excited. Another new baby in the family. This is going to be fun. Moosey has decided not to go. He's going to keep the home fires burning here. And it would be a little dangerous with the rollator and everything out in the rain. It's going to be dangerous for me. Matthew wanted to pick me up, but I thought he lives over in that way anyway. So, so I've already put picked my outfit on. I've decided to go black with gold necklaces. I love this sweater anyway with all these. I have black velvet pants on and my favorite new shoes. I've showed you these before. As you know, it's all about the chains this year and I've got chains, that's for sure. Because it's so cold, I went out in the shed and I did find one of my winter wool coats and hats to keep the rain off my hair because when I get there, I don't even know if I can find a parking place. It's going to be very, very crowded outside and it's going to take me a while to get there. So, well, it would have been a good day to go for the scrunch hairdo because I'm sure that the hair is going to fall today with the wetness. But I've done my makeup, the new Wet n' Wild, done the eyes as best I can, filled in some eyebrows, put the gold jewelry on. I'm set to go. Have the new shoes and went out in the shed and got a good winter coat. Have the felt hat for the rain that you all loved. 
this was a thrift find. Gonna put the shoe on, see if we can do this. Shoes on. Haven't had this on in a while. Ooh, wish I was back east in this. Oh, it's cold, it's raining. Got the BB bag. Yeah. You need a pipe or something. <laughs> Lucy says I look like a spy, but I think I'd love to be walking down the streets of New York City right now. Prague. <laughs> Prague. <laughs> well, I'm off. Margie should be here any minute and I'm ready to go. With all the bling, all the chains, can an 85 year old pull this off? Let's see. This is definitely not a look for California, but the rain, the cold. I'm singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. Moon, come on, Moosey, join me. No, uh, I don't want to get wet. <laughs> Bye, folks. I'll let you know all about it when I get back. I think I hear Margie outside. <laughs> Molly, video time. <laughs> The ladies love my son, yeah. Matthew, so yes. I can see why. is an aquarium. Look at the blowfish down here. There he goes. And we're getting ready to sit down for lunch. He said I have to bring something home to him. Shrimp, shish kebab, chicken shish kebab, a beautiful rice meal with mushrooms and vegetables, a lovely salad, and beautiful roast salad. Thank you. I have to explain what was going on with all the men at the party drinking their preferred drink through a baby bottle. It was a contest as part of the baby shower to kind of bring the men in to show them what women do at showers, just fun things. And it was just a, a joke on the men. But Barry won, but he cheated, I think, because I think he bit the nipple off because Matt and the rest of the guys were still sucking away trying to get their beer down. But Barry finished awful quickly, and I suspect he might have bitten the nipple off. But it was funny, and we were howling at the men. They were all good sports. Our trip home yesterday from the party was pretty hairy. Matthew, when we came out, I guess it was about 3.30 or 4. It's, you know, it starts to get almost a little dusky at that point. I can't believe it's so early in the day. But Matt said, I'm driving you home. And I said, oh, Matt. You know, he knew that it was such a bad drive on the way over. Pouring rain. 
and I was driving. My glasses kept fogging up, so I had to take them off. And I can see fine driving a better actually with the glasses off, but I couldn't read the signs. So Margie was reading, we were doing MapQuest, which, which turned out great. The, the directions went great, but it was slow driving because it was pouring rain and there were puddles on the streets. Driving in that rain was tough. So when we all left, we left a little bit early because the drive was a little longer. Matt said, Cindy's gonna drive my car. I'm gonna drive you two girls home, which he did. And I am so thankful he did because it rained all the way home too. A lovely group of diversified people from young people all the way up to, well, probably I was the oldest there, but it was fun. And I enjoyed wearing my outfit, had great fun uh, with the black coat and the umbrella. And um, <laughs> funnily enough, Molly, Debbie, and I all showed up in black hats, which I did take off later, but a beautiful home, a beautiful, beautiful party with everyone. And um, Shana, the mommy-to-be, looked absolutely glowing. It's always so fun to get the chance to be able to go out, dress up and go out and be with all the people that you know and love and meet new people besides. And that was the day. But there's a big difference, isn't there, in the lower eyelash. Now, what I will do, the little case that they came in is this. And as you can see, I've used the two top ones. Now, maybe you can see better than I am. You know, once I take my eyeglasses off, I can't see a thing up close anyway, so I'm at a disadvantage here, which is probably why I swallowed the other eyelash. Mm -hmm. But I've used both of these, one swallowed and one on my eye. Now, do they get thicker as you go down or are they all the same? You tell me. I think this is quite an invention. And once I get it perfected, now it was so hard to do. I was using my tweezer holding it with my left hand, but then trying to put the glue on with my right hand didn't work. I had to switch. Probably how I lost the first eyelash. But I think I'm going to keep working at it until I get it right. And that's a good idea. You know, the whole thing, um, and I will put it in the description box, the whole thing um, came with this little uh, glue, which has the tiniest little um, applicator on it. It's really nice. Look how thin it is. And you, you put the, the glue on with this. It's a clear glue, nice little container. Now see, without my glasses, am I going to be able to get it back in? There we go. Um, so this is nice. I think the whole thing was 10 or $11 with all these eyelashes and they are reusable. So if I ever found that other one, now, maybe they're all the same. Maybe um, I'm just blowing it out of proportion. Maybe they don't get thicker as each pair is different. I don't know. But I think it's pretty good. Now, if I could get it, ever get it to the point where it would only take me two minutes to put on, I suppose that's practice. You know, it was a little sticky. It kept sticking to my finger when I tried to put it on. I think it's a little too long in this area and it has to be a little higher. <clears throat> and whatever, maybe have to fill in some eyebrows or eyelashes here. Now, I also did order this, which also came, and I can find my eyeglasses. They're not here. Oh, here they are. And this is called an eyebrow fluff, fluff and fill. And here it is here, and it's by NYX, NYX, and it has two ends. One end is the fluffer, which is basically a little brush. That That's all this is, is a fluffer. I thought maybe it would have some gel, eyebrow gel on it. I think I sent for the gel too, that might come tomorrow. And the gel will make the hair strand up. And this is a filler, which I've had before. And that's what you fill in this part and the tail with. Once again, it's not the light color that I need, but we'll we'll get around to perfecting that too. 
So, making headway with the eyes. They're not uncomfortable. I don't even feel them at all. It's a latex glue, so it shouldn't harm the eyes at all. And I've never heard of people putting lower lashes on, but if you can put the upper ones on, why can't you put the lower ones? So that's what I received from Amazon this week. In fact, it came yesterday, I believe. So we're still working on the eyes. Well, I have applied the lower eyelash. I have totally lost the other one. I've looked all over my jammies, which I have on underneath my face. I might have swallowed it, who knows? I was holding it, <laughs> it disappeared. So I have one missing, I'll, I'll still keep looking, but I probably swallowed it. But anyway, here's what the lower eyelash looks like. And I think it's good. I won't have to put any mascara or anything on it. Maybe I didn't get it high enough in this end. Now also, for some reason or other, I don't seem to have any upper eyelashes in here. So it's still not right, but there's a big difference, isn't there, in the lower eyelash. Now here's the difference between two eyes. On one eye, I have my false lower eyelash. After half an hour, I think I have secured it. I don't know what's happened to the other one. I might've swallowed it or it's somewhere on my PJs on this table, but it has disappeared. It's, it's been a process, but I think I can deal with it. Now look at this eye. The lower lash is secure. And now this eye, I've done nothing with except put a little gold on the top. So I think it'll look great once I get going. Now I'm going to be able to see when I look in the camera and put it on my eye movie, I'll be able to see. I don't think I'll ever find the other eye. We'll see. You know, after I gave that shout out to Glitzy Fritzy about her beautiful eyes yesterday, she did text me back and explained um, that she did not have false eyelashes on, that she did put them with mascara and evidently uses the serum to make her eyelashes grow longer too. So those serums do work. I do have a tube of that, but I'm not disciplined enough to put it on every night. Uh, maybe I'll get around to that with the lower lashes, which might be a lot easier than swallowing eyelashes. So, um, Anyway, Glitzy did, uh, I noticed that she did pencil in some of those nice hairs in the inner portion of her eyebrows. I looked again at that video, so I'm going to try and work on that too. You know, after I gave that shout out to Glitzy Fritzy about her beautiful eyes yesterday, she did text me back and explained um, that she did not have false eyelashes on, that she did put them with mascara and evidently uses the serum to make her eyelashes grow longer too. So those serums do work. I do have a tube of that, but I'm not disciplined enough to put it on every night. Uh, maybe I'll get around to that with the lower lashes, which might be a lot easier than swallowing eyelashes. So um, anyway, Glitzy did, uh, I noticed that she did pencil in some of those nice hairs in the inner portion of her eyebrows. I looked again at that video, so I'm gonna try and work on that too. So on this rainy day as well, um, I think I'm gonna get to some chores around here. And you know what? I meant to do my other eye before I talk to you again. I only have one eye sort of made up. I have my lashes. And I've noticed they're really going out. They didn't uh, follow the uh, roundness of the bottom. It's so easy to do if you can see, which is difficult for someone who wears glasses. And um, I think it might work once I get the hang of it. And then I have to figure out what to do with the, the lashes that should meet it in here. I can fill that in somehow. You know, in my last video, I did give you a, a little tour of my exclusive shed where I store a lot of my 
out of season clothing and a lot of my treasures and bedding and everything, mainly because our tiny little cottage here is a 90 year old adobe cottage with very little storage. So we do have to uh, go in and out, I do. <clears throat> and with the new organization that all our children did on the day of the purge, my birthday weekend, at the end of the day, before the big party started, <laughs> we sort of put everything back real fast and the guys all stacked everything high. Well, unfortunately, there's a lot of things that I need access to, like shoes and boots and, and uh, winter clothing, and especially my bedding, my duvets and my sheets, which I have to change my sheets. And, and I need to get to that. Well, I can't reach for a tub. You know, some of them are stacked four or three, four, five high. And um, someone on on YouTube, I don't know who it was, Debbie Do or somebody suggested, which I also have been thinking about myself, that I need some of these metal heavy duty stacking shelves that will hold tubs and uh, maybe be five feet high or something so that I can have access to only the things that I use all the time. That doesn't mean everything in that shed because there are a lot of tubs in the shed. The rest of them can stay, but maybe about a dozen tubs that hold different types of clothing or different types of dishes or pewter or brass that I like to rotate with. Um, shoes, boots, purses, stuff like that. And of course, bedding and anything else that I would want to get to myself without bothering any of the boys to have them get tubs down and out. So I think I'm going to invest in that. I looked on Amazon and there are several. Plus I know Matthew can help me with the selections of those. So I think that's it for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching and listening. I hope you enjoyed um, being with us at that lovely shower. It was a wonderful party in a wonderful location. And it was so much fun to dress up and go there and see the kids and, and meet new friends too. It's still raining here. Uh, <laughs> I think we're maybe getting a little bit used to it. At least we're dragging out some clothes that we haven't had out before. So I, I want you to kind of look at my face and tell me if you see uh, one of these lower eyelashes hanging on my hair or the end of my nose or whatever. I. I've looked everywhere and I don't see it. And I know it's probably staring me in the face, maybe hanging from my nose or maybe I swallowed it. I swear something happened to it. So so as I say goodbye with two different eyes, some lashes on this eye and some makeup that I probably booped up on on this eye. Thank you so much. I love your comments. I love us scabbing back and forth. And we'll wait and see what goes on in the next couple of days. And then we'll talk again. Love you all and God bless us all.